Several items around the room require power for the show to resume. Well, we've already put batteries in the robot. You could have got us to sort out the power before, no? Um, watch as e watch as power of each is turned on. The room will come alive before too long. Oh, we can actually move. Cool. Right. So I already know what this is going to be. First off, activate the video games console. So we've got to walk down the skateboard. Walk off here. And uh, should we use the uh, the jeep? Yeah, I think we use the jeep for this actually. Um, let's uh, let's let's drive around because there's a couple of bits we have got to turn on. So uh, I'm about to buy a couple. I literally mean a couple. And also, um, if you're wondering, the uh, the fake the false part about the last scenario was the fact that it says uh, you've got to or the yeah what's the last one? Uh, capture the elf and his buddies and chain them up. And of course, we didn't use any chains, and there were no buddies. It was literally just the elf on his own. Redonk. Train Sim World Narrow Gauge Edition confirmed. I'm joking. It, 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 it will probably happen one day, but not for now. Oh my god, wow. Not for now. Nice, that's definitely a uh, Welsh Narrow Gauge. Oh, I can't remember what. Uh, Fairleys on, I think they're Fairleys. Let's turn this on anyway. Doink. Look at it. Look at that. It's a cow. I mean, okay, the gameplay is significantly way too modern for the period that the route is set in. Like I said, the route is set in the 80s. We've got mismatched dates. Also, I think that magazine might have a date that's not appropriate. Um, I can't remember now. I'll have to go and have a look. Um, unfortunately, now, I've got to go use the blooming train. I would have liked to have uh, driven around turning things on in the car, but, you know, whatever. However, it's not a complete um, letdown. Because we can do one thing before we do anything. In fact, I'll come over here. Um... Because we can get back from over here. We've used this Jeep uh, throughout the entire video. Uh, I think we use this piece of track over here. So technically, if we stick the Jeep on the bit of track, you know what I'm thinking. You know what I'm thinking already. We can see what it looks like from the other angle. What it looks like from the perspective of, uh, of, of this. And there. Yeah, there's another jeep over here somewhere. I think it's in the village, isn't it? In the cobbled village. There it is. There it is. Cool. So, yeah. We can leave that one on the track. We'll see what happens to it. And, uh, and yeah. We'll drive over to our train again. Because um, it wants us to use the train annoyingly. To get around the other side of the room. But then, I guess, it also assumes that you haven't got the uh, got the jeeps. So you need to uh, get across the room fast, which is how you use, or how you do, why you use a train even, whatever. Boink! Let's, uh, <clears throat> I guess we'll park this one right in front of the train, shall we? Let's do that and see what happens. Can't stop the train in Train Sim World. I love it. I love it. I think it's fun. Yeah, not necessary, but like you say, training centre would definitely benefit from having a having a car of its own. It really would. There's plenty of roads and stuff you can drive down, so let's jump in. I mean, I suppose the rear cab's gonna have. Um... Right. Uh, I guess we need number three view for this. Turn the bells on. Effort all gone. Effort all gone. Let's go. See what happens. Oh, also, we put it straight into the notch eight. Oh, it's actually... Oh, there it goes. Bye. Poor G. Poor little thing. I already know the points set correctly for this scenario, so... Despite the fact they're manual points, they're all been automated for you anyway, so, you know, whatever. Yeah, oh, it's three o'clock in the morning. Also, the fact that we just turned that TV on, surely that's going to wake the family up? No? Would have been my, uh, my, my consideration, but, yeah, okay. Just turn the console on at three o'clock in the morning, yeah, that works as well. What's going to happen with the car anyway, then? Coming around to it now. Get off the track! Whoa! Wow! 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 
Oh, that went flying. Okay then. Let's uh, let's get back in the cab because we need to uh, stop this thing. Ooh, power sliding into the Christmas tree. Look at that stop. Look at that. What? 12 yards? I'll take that. I'll take that. That was impressive, the way that car flew, though. Let's go and plug our oversized power plug in, which, despite the fact we captured the elf, and we flipping sat him on the naughty step, and the tree was on the entire time, it's now off. All the baubles, I think, have changed colour, and also all the lights have changed colour. Look, they're all different colours now, and it looks really pretty. And you think, yay, we're going to get coloured lights finally. And you turn it on, and they're all white again. It's like, yeah, look, well, white lights are great, but we want to see colour. That's what we all came here for, DTG. Colourful, pretty lights. You know, give us some colour in the route. We all want to see it, please. Pretty, please. Uh, anyway. Let's, uh, let's go and let's go to the sofa station where we can admire our work, I believe the next task is. And then, then there's only one scenario left, I do believe. Which is a nice, simple one. Well, I say nice, simple. It's actually the most complex of all of them, to be honest, the last one. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. You've also got to come out the, uh, out of the game, you can't just click next scenario. You actually got to come out of the game in order to uh, access the uh, the next scenario, which is weird in my opinion. It's a bit funny, but I guess maybe it's because it's on a different um, difficulty level. It's shunting, but it literally tells you how to do the shunting anyway. So four yards, even better. Yeah, I think it's really funny how you um, can jump off a sofa to your death. But you're not allowed to jump out of that door because it's too high. I think that's really funny. Is the TV still on? Playing its trains in world. At what? Hang on. That's a good point. That's a really. That's a pretty bad game. If it comes on, the thing comes on. It gets no input from the controller, and the game just starts playing itself. What's this automatic play game? You know what I mean? Oh, do you know what it is? Maybe it's um, maybe it's a train sim classic rail fan mode, the video game. I bet that's what it is. Also, flying, not flying, flying, not flying. <laughs> Hitbox me like Christmas trees on. Oh, we can see the angel. We still can't probably see the angel. She's got a face though. We got a smiley face. Ah, how nice. There's a little bit of a distance blur, which is a shame, but oh well. That's the work complete. An amazing job. And prepare, uh, preparing this most festive treat. Ready for the family to come downstairs tomorrow. So, I shall join you now for the last part of this video.